Welcome back, this is Jack. What are the different types of hockey in One Piece? Note, I will be using some content that's in the Wano arc and also in the One Piece Red film to explain different features of hockey. And I will also be using the English names because I will butcher the Japanese names and I don't want to put y'all through that. So heads up, if you're afraid of spoilers, dip out, but do, do hit that like and subscribe, please. At its base level, hockey is the spirit or will of a person. If this was Dragon Ball, it would be Kai. And it has three different functions or principles. The first one I need to bring up is observation hockey. In Skypea, it is also known as mantra. And that's actually its first introduction. What mantra or observation hockey does, it is allow you to sense or feel what your opponent is going to do at its base level. This providing you a couple extra seconds or more to dodge out of the way. There are different levels of it in this field where you're able to sense their intent, you're able to sense their emotions, or just their like their hockey aura outline. But this is still just the base level of observation hockey. The next stage up is actually the ability to slightly see the future, not just kind of sense the future, but see it. This can allow for more concrete and decisive decision making, which is a really weird way of saying that, and possibly mitigate things here and there. There is some weird stuff going on with this ability in One Piece Red, where it is hinted that you're able to see through blood siblings or blood relations and see their possible futures or what they're seeing. I don't view that as canon because once again, that movie tends not to be canon, but I will be bringing it up for other things. Armament Hockey or Ryu in Wano. Armament Hockey is another one of the base ones that anyone can learn and is almost a requirement while you're in the new world. It has several very important features that help you fight not only other powerful users, but Devil Fruit users specifically. At its most base level, what it does is it hardens your skin, allowing you to both do more damage and re uh, resist more damage, usually shown by the skin turning black. Additionally, it will allow you to hurt people through their Devil Fruits resistances. So if someone is able to turn into flames and you were able to actually hit them, it will still hurt them. Note, however, if someone is able to turn into an element or something along those lines and they contort their body around the attack, you will have missed and not been subject to their hockey. Additionally, you can also use hockey to resist the effects of other people's devil fruits. At its upgraded level, you are able to strike a person kind of at range is the best way it's described. Usually it's also depicted as you hitting a person, but the attack proceeds further into their body. So if someone like Kaido or Big Mom has very high physical resistances, naturally, you can strike at their insides that are much softer, for instance. That application was actually first shown in Sabody Arc and further shown with Rayleigh Silvers. Now the important one to bring up, where the other ones anyone can learn or have awaken, there is Conqueror's Hockey or Colors of the Supreme King Hockey. This one is one in a billion people can have it, and it is the signs that someone is able to be a ruler or a leader of some kind. Every Yonko, and usually their second in command, has this to some degree. At its base level, at its very base level, someone just having it naturally, not even fully awakened, it makes them have people just seem to be drawn around them and come to them. When it awakens, it allows them to enforce their will on other people and animals. At base level with animals, it can cause them to run away in fear or be almost subjugated, to, for lack of a better description. Against humans, it can knock them unconscious if their will is not strong, if their own personal hockey is not strong enough to resist. Now worth noting, the advanced form of Emperor's Hockey or Conqueror's Hockey or all the other names you want for it, it is able to augment the properties of Observation Hockey and armament hockey. By using the conqueror's hockey with your armament, you're able to make your attacks a lot more powerful. That is actually first shown when Shanks is actually saying goodbye, we'll say, to Whitebeard, and they split the sky. That is actually one of the first examples of this happening, though we didn't know what was happening. In regards to how conqueror's ho hockey can help observation, is it actually allows you to hide your future from observation. This is, however, is only shown in One Piece Red, the movie, and it was shown by Shanks in relation to um, one of Big Mom's kids, whose name I can't say right. But it is an additional note, an odd side effect of really strong Conqueror's Hockey is 
it can actually physically hurt the environment around them. We haven't learned too much about this specifically, but we have seen Shanks do it when he entered Whitebeard's ship and you saw the ship around him starting to crack and break just from his will alone. The next arc is gonna deal a lot with the admirals and some of the remaining Yonko. We're gonna find, we, we're probably gonna find out some new applications of it. And it's gonna be very interesting. Some people who we didn't know who had it and some people who will have it. And some people who just awoke it, not saying any names. You know what I'm supposed to say here? Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.